Hello, today we're going thrifting. I have a short list. Well, my last video was a list of like dream things that I wanted to find secondhand and thrifting. I don't think that we're gonna find those things today, but I do have a smaller, shorter list of everyday things that I'm always looking for. Since we hosted for the holidays, I'm looking for um, serving wear, always. Anything cool, which was on my list last week. Anything cool, always. Wooden toys for cash, because wooden toys actually age really well, and I've had good luck with finding them at the thrift store before. Brass candlesticks, continuing my Christmas decor, always looking for anything brass, candlesticks, and colored glassware. I really want some interesting colored glassware to go in my bar cabinet. Because I realized that I've turned into this very heavy thrifting person, but I have shared very little of that on YouTube. I've shared hauls and things that I found over on Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. But I feel like at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you guys whatever we find today and just some of the things that I've picked up in the couple of months that I have been heavy on the thrifting. So there's gonna be a huge haul at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned. We're gonna to go to two of my local Goodwills and my Habitat for Humanity Restore. We're parked out front of the Goodwill now. So let's go in. I'm gonna get a cart. Although maybe I shouldn't, because I feel like when I do get a cart, I don't find anything. And when I don't get a cart, that's when I find all the stuff. So let's not get a cart. Let's all not. the science, huh? Yeah, let's not get a cart. The Pampered Chef. I don't know. I might be. You should have all right there. That might be too worn for me. I don't know, again, not exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, it's not feeling, it's not feeling like a win in here today. Pink glasses, but I only see a set of three and they're sitting with this thing. I don't think they actually go together. But they are sitting together. Brass candlesticks in a bag. Five, oh, they're a little, they're a little flimsy, but that's cute. There's four in the bag, 566. I think we should get that. Silver bowl. Let's see. That's a nice silver bowl, polished up. That could be cute somewhere. Let's probably try it out. Target Opal House vase. I actually looked at this one when it was online. It's from the Justina Jungalo collection. But now that it's here, and it's only $9, I'm like, meh. Dang, look at this one. National Rifle Association. Then you got shot. Wouldn't that be super ironic? Here's what I always like, and I don't know if this is a good representation, I don't think it is, but people are always making something. They're always taking a ceramics class, and then they get tired of whatever it is they made, and they, put it, they give it to the Goodwill, and a lot of times, it's very cool and handmade. There you Off go, back on your <laughs> dog ornaments. So just put the tree away. Off season is a great time to find your Christmas decor because- no, Off season is a great time to no find No one else is decor. looking for it. So it's like, it'll still be there and you can find stuff and you just hold on to it till next Christmas. Fun ornament, these are cute. Nice little pattern on there. Four plates, one cup, but but cute. Our Goodwill seems to do these like color themes, right? So this feels like a black and metallic. And then we've got yellow, purple, red, and then, you know, so if you're looking for something, a Green. color. Yeah. <laughs> you got it over here, the right. Goodwill. Those balls are cool. Oh, oh no, I mean, I still like them. Still cute. It's only two, and look, there's a plate. That's Chilled. cute. I know, but it, when it was new and if it was a whole set, that was that was some That's nice cool. dinnerware. Do like the green one. Don't know what I would use it for. I don't think I really have a use for it, but I do like that one. Celia just said, what a great little Christmas yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a tea light holder. 
That's cute Christmas decor. Here's another example. Oh no. Somebody didn't. Well, somebody made it, but. Like, that's so random. You know? Somebody made this, too. It's feeling like a bust on the toys, except this is a good. Look at all that chalk. Oh, that is good chalk. $2. Where'd you get that? I mean, it's in pretty good condition. Wood toys. The wheels roll. Yeah, I think the wheel rolling is the best part. Oh, these might be cute. Do you think those will fit nicely in my thingamajiggies? Try it. $3. I don't know. Imagine it recovered in some mud cloth. Imagine, imagine, imagine. It's not old enough. And it's $12. Look at this little puppy dog. But that's a cute dress. And it's Zara. Color of the day is blue. So far, we have no blue tags. This is a good set of dining chairs. It's only three. No. Oh, well, that's still one of, there's four. That's one of them. It just has a different back because it's the chair with the arms. Car wash it. How's it going? I'll grab the bag back. You want the bag back? Yeah, please. Add another Goodwill. This Goodwill always does me right. They tend to have a lot of stuff from Target. Um, they tend to do really good with toys, especially, um, and like the like vases and like trinkets and things. They always do really good on that one. So I really, really like this Goodwill and the staff in this Goodwill is always so friendly and they have bags. Our local Goodwills for whatever are like out of bags. Sean found this shirt for himself. It's a blue tag day. 50% off. 50% off. $4. Perfect example of the Target stuff. These are Target PJs. Last time I didn't get one, but I'm Target's like. Rolling. Your card is rolling. Oh. <laughs> Guess what's right here? Seasonal. Seasonal decor. Do I need a camel? You ain't never crossed the burning sands. That ain't got nothing to do <laughs> with Jesus being born in Bethlehem and the nativity. The answer is I don't have any other nativity pieces. Oh, bag of ribbon. That's actually very tempting. Why is it tempting? What, you could wrap gifts for ever with this. Five bucks? Four Christmas trees. Somebody said, get this out of my house. This is a seven foot Christmas tree for $23. We got robbed. Clearly. Do we need a beach umbrella? I want it to be those, I want it to be a chair, you know? I want it to be those beach chairs and not umbrellas. Does Cash need his own little baby shark umbrella? It's bad luck to open an umbrella inside. I don't believe in luck. Umbrella? This is what I was talking about, one of these chairs. I don't like the look of this one. It looks too small. It's for a kid, perhaps. Oh yeah, age is three and plus, but Cash would sit in it. He would just sit on the ground. But I wish we could find adult sizes of these. Bath and Body Works at home, made in Portugal. Could be nice. That's coming off. And then what do we have here? Oh, this is like a Bundt cake. From inch, I don't want that to be it. I wanted that to just be a bowl. Oh. I wanted that to be a bowl. That was gonna be perfect. Mrs. Claus got, must have got real mad. Oh, it's a bajillion of those. <laughs> those not speaking to you in any way? These? They're like ramen bowls. I can use those. There's only three of them. I, mean, I only need one. But they go with this set of plates right here. Oh. Uh, really like the look of these. 
Those are super cute. There's four plates. They're a little scratched up. Like you can tell these were someone's everyday oh. plates. Hmm? I don't like that one. You don't like that as a serving bowl? No. The ridges. Did you really like the bunt bowl? Are you as upset about the bunt thing as I am? So oh. you're very upset about this bunt I'm bowl. very upset about the bunt bowl. Also, it looks like this is a pear. Does that make you more into it? No. Mm -mm. It looks very fish heady. It's made in Italy. Okay, we found two platters. Won't tell you which one, who likes which one. We'll just show them to you. We're probably going to leave them both. But which one do you guys think we should get? The one with the roses in the middle or the roses around the edge? This one's mine. I just told them that we weren't going to do that. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, you did. You well, did this though. one's mine because I like this one better. Mine is less so expensive. So said she wanted to have an eclectic. That's what all people who put stuff together. <laughs> it's eclectic, I have which a... is just another word for mismatch. Different. Mitch match. I want it to be Mitch match, but I want the Mitch match to feel purposeful. I really like this plate too. That'll probably wash off. Should I get these two plates? Ooh. So you found something. No, I didn't. Is this the happy medium? Yeah, I'm over it now. I don't care what serving <laughs> tray you get. Oh my God. <laughs> <sighs> I wish there was a fourth. I wish there were eight. Because right now we're using those, whatchamacallits, that are mismatched. But isn't that... Eclectic? I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> okay, now which one do you like? This one. <laughs> you just saying that to me. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> yes, I like that are. one better. Oh, what about this? Um... Another that's, mask. That's handmade. Mayan. You don't have to put it back. Can't get, can't get uh, two, Here you go. Here two you go. 275 muffins. Here you go. You know what because I'm Here for you our go. son. For our son. Because Celia mm -hmm. says every time I put cash in front of it, it's okay. Yeah, because that's what you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I'll make him a scone now. Let's well, go. no, no, make him a, get the muffin tin. How much is it? It's a blue tag. It's 50% right, off. I put it yeah, well, thing. come on then. Get it. Bring it on over. You film yourself putting it in the cart. So you say, oh, this is cute. This is all cast iron. It's a bowling. Move on to <laughs> bowling heavy. muffin. Don't put those three glasses. I'm putting in the three the in there in case I come across the fourth. Actually, these look like bananas. Yeah, those are banana holders. Oh, like Sundays. Oh, for Sundays. like for a banana banana split. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. But who wanna eat that much ice cream? You know what I mean? Put a whole banana on my Maybe I do. <laughs> okay, I got a story. I'm tempted to get this because my mom has a dish that looks exactly like this. And at Christmas, this is what she puts. The cranberry sauce The, the jellied cranberry sauce in. Mm -hmm. And every time, since we had it at our house this year, we didn't have that perfect cranberry sauce so tell dish. tell her to bring hers over. Ooh, you know what? That little dish that went with my serving dish could be the cranberry sauce dish. Little serving dish. I'm about to show you. It's a little bit bigger, but it's like the perfect thing for the cranberry sauce. Can't hang it on the door. I meant like part of the gallery wall. Pretty sure the flowers are faux. I'm on the fence. It's five dollars. Pretty sure that's an empty box. We're wondering what could be, what could this book be about? I like this lamp. Also like this one. Cause I got this green and gold lampshade that needs a lamp. Actually, this one is nice all by itself. I really like this. We came in here really to just look at the smalls. Um, I just saw these couches and sat down because these are so cute. There's a matching pair, $100, $200 for these little matching couches. They're so cute. But um, 
The ReStore doesn't just do smalls like um, maybe some Goodwills do. They also have tons and tons of furniture and we're just not in the market for furniture right now. I did find our dining table, which I'll share with you guys later at this ReStore specifically, but building materials, big furniture pieces, dining tables, rocking chairs. They always have a ton of rocking chairs. Um, I've seen some appliances, cabinets, tons of stuff at the ReStore, but we came specifically just to look at the smalls. This couch has been here for a long time and I love the, the curve. I don't know what I would do with it. In the Habitat for Humanity ReStore, you'll see this little yellow tag on everything and it just means that they have been sanitized. I was here with my mom a couple weeks ago and we saw this chair and we don't know what you would use it for and there's only one of it, but I just think it's so interesting. Okay, I've been in this store several times and here's what I just realized. That this section here is like their fine mm, antique stuff maybe that's like um, a little bit nicer. Still priced reasonably, like this tray is $3. This table is 75. That's actually a cute little bowl. Um, there's a couple sets of china, like this yamaka china, right? They're saying 200 for the whole set. And then there's another set uh, right here. Also into this pewter, seven piece Jekka something something I don't know Sean um, has a lamp here that he googled and apparently Sanyo fans this one is $15 in the store. This one is $15 in the store. It's currently it. $70. $70 $70 plus $131 <laughs> shipping <laughs> so he's gonna sell this fan on eBay I guess I feel like ladies are always looking for these vintage sleds. This one's 30 bucks. I don't know where we would house that the rest of the year. Anyway, y'all get it. I was trying to show you some stuff that was interesting. Like this is like an East Lake dresser that someone has put new cup pools on. This chair is interesting. So is the sofa next to it. So is this piece right here. Cute little dresser. This is actually a cute little chair tiles, sinks, tubs, all types of stuff. This is a set of china, fine china, made in China, hmm. 20 bucks for all of that. And then there's another set here, golden, ah, this is actually really pretty, golden harvest. No serving where I'm attached. I'm interested in this piece only, but not for sugar, but for like trinkets or something. Pretty serving dish. It, that is old. I know, that is old. Oh, they're in not great shape. That sucks. Oh, these are cool though. I know, but they're clear. I want some color. I don't know, I'm tempted on those anyway. They're a dollar. The gold rim is pretty much gone. That sucks. These are also cool too. I wish there were more of them because that would be a great water goblet. I don't know y'all. Do I leave it? Let me know in the comments, would you get them? I'm not exactly sure why I'm attracted to these, but the right, you know, salsa taco night, and those are really cute. Same with this. There's only four, but that's a good water goblet for our next dinner party. When's our next dinner party? I don't know, but we can only have four. It can only be with two other people. So only got four water cups. And we don't already have the four water cups. 
pour them. Those are casual drinking cups. So when you're having a dinner party, you need a water goblet. What else happens at a dinner party? They're 50 party? cents, bro. What else it's happens? $2 worth else? of glasses. What else happens at a dinner party? I think I have to get this very nice velvet ribbon floral and craft it's three bucks I guess it doesn't feel that nice okay never mind one day I am going to come in here and dig through these records because it's just too many of them for there not to be something that I want to be listening to. But whenever I do just a quick look, I always come up empty handed. One day. Okay, it's the next day and we are here with the haul. I'm going to show you guys the stuff that we picked up today first. Well, in this trip first and then I'm going to show you some of my favorite things that I have picked up in weeks past. I started gathering things and I was like this is too much to show in one video so I'll probably do another video with a separate haul of like all of the stuff the second hand finds around the apartment but let's start with what we got today. One of the first things we picked up was this little wooden toy. Remember wooden toys are great at the thrift store. It is a giraffe. It's kind of like one of those, you know, you get on it and pretend like you're riding it, but it has wheels, so it'll roll nicely. It's still in very good shape. The paint job is good. Um, this was $3.33 at the Goodwill, and I think Cash is going to love it. Our local Goodwills sometimes have um, stuff that obviously came from Target. Like Target is obviously donating some things to one specific local Goodwill. Um, at this one, we picked up this little sand umbrella. Now, beach umbrella. We live in Cleveland and we don't have an ocean beach, but we do have the lake. Lake Erie has multiple beaches around the city and it would be a great little summer activity to like just let Cash play in the sun, uh, in the sand. But d while doing that, it would of course also be nice for him to be protected from the sun. So we picked up this little umbrella. Um, it's brand new because it's all like it's still connected. Oh, it's not connected to the bag. I made that up. But a cute little beach umbrella. This was $3.99 at the Goodwill. I picked up two packs of candles. Now this first one is essentially unused votives and they're all in um, glass jars and I was thinking with these while entertaining like it says large dinner candles that they would just be perfect for additional candles like in your centerpiece on your table or way back when we did um, a tour of Harry's apartment I'll be sure to link that here and down in the description and when we first came to Harry's apartment to to do that video tour he had little votives like on the floor like just kind of sporadically around the room for entertaining purposes. And I was like, wow, that is such a great touch. So there are three missing, $5.66 for the box. Says it was $7.99, so I'm gonna call it a win on these candles. And then I also picked up these smaller candles um, because we I have these um, candle pillars, pillar, candle, load of holders and I have six of these there are some up here and there are some that I'm I have in the dining room and they are the perfect size for tea lights they have a hole but I thought these could work too and they would have just a little bit longer of a life like burn life in here and they are just about the size of a tea light so they would fit in there perfectly now right at the checkout at the Goodwill I saw this shirt in the months that I have become a fan of my local Goodwill stores, I have not really gotten into the clothes for myself until I had a small child. Um, so it's a great place for, for them. But I did spot this shirt. And I thought, what a lovely shirt. The quality, quality looks very nice. It is a linen shirt, fun print. It looks like... Uh, it's supposed to be uh, like a Mexican village or Italian? No, they have on sombreros. So I think it's supposed to be a Mexican village, but it's got nice um, horn buttons. 
Like this is a quality, this is a quality shirt. And I it was found I found it in the men's section and I was like, well, I could wear that. And Sean was like, well, is that for me or for you? And I was like, well, we can share it. There's always an aisle at the Goodwill that they're just calling, I think it's like miscellaneous or like knickknacks. In that aisle, Sean found these paint pale liners. We'll probably just hold on to one of them because we don't actually have a paint pail that these would fit in, but easy way to do cutting in. We have our dining room makeover coming up. Um, this was $2.11 for a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six. One of the first aisles that I always hit in the Goodwill is the like metal stuff section because brass candlesticks, um, when they are there, don't really last and you don't, all, I mean, you always find them. They're always there, but you kind of need to grab them. Um, I've been collecting brass candlesticks for our mantle as Christmas decor. And also I just love a brass candlestick. It's one of those things that will never go out of style. Um, and I found this, this bag was one of the first things I saw. In it is a set of four, and I think they're all different sizes. Pull them out and see. Okay, so we have two that are the same, and then two um, that are, one is slightly taller than the other. But those are nice. They're pretty sleek, made in Taiwan. They are not the heaviest or the nicest of the brass candlesticks that I have found at the Goodwill. However, I like the simplistic design. It was $5.66 for the bag of four. So that was a really good price actually. Um, so you guys also heard us doing a lot of talking about the serving wear. <laughs> and so I did end up getting two pieces. I got this um, kind of more plain little smaller platter. It just has some very simple like um, gold, but not shiny gold, like chartreuse. Um, kind of like, um, leaf printing around the edge. It does have a small imperfection here, but I'm not so much worried about this. Um, it's by Walker China, made in Bedford, Ohio. This was $1.33 for this size plate. I think uh, my, my plan is to kind of have an eclectic mix of serving wear. And then I picked this one up because um, I also liked the pattern. Feels old, but like that kind of like grand millennial vibe, but not too overly decorative. We want to open the ocean spray can of cranberry sauce. This, this will be my cranberry sauce dish. The roll will fit perfectly in there. You can cut yourself a slice. It's not going to go anywhere and it's cute. This was $2.66. Um, and you can see together, you know, it's speaking to each other, but not matching, eclectic. I love the ReStore. There's one more location in Cleveland that I haven't been to that I really want to get to. And we'll, I'll definitely do a video when we go because I've heard that that's a really, really good location. They're just only open like Thursday through Sunday. But at the one that we went to, I found this beautiful hand-painted serving bowl. This one says hand-painted Fleur de Chantilly by Andrea, Andrea by Sadiq, made in Japan. And I feel like I need to do some research, um, but anything that's like the made in Japan stuff, I, from my understanding, which could be wrong, don't quote me here, I'm still new to this whole thrifting thing, but made in Japan stuff, I think tends to be older. This is a beautiful serving bowl. It's hand painted. I love the flowers. I love the speckled quality um, of the pottery. It's in very good shape, just needs to be washed off. No chips, scratches or dents. And then you see when you look at it all together, you can kind of see like it's speaking to one another, but it's not matching. So I'm really, really happy. One of the things that I really wanted to find was serving wear, and I'm so glad to have found these pieces. Um, 
Yeah. So that was everything that we picked up on this trip. Now I'm going to share some of my other pickups that were some really favorites of mine. So let me grab those. Just because we were just talking about serving wear, I thought I'd share this bowl. So I picked up this bowl the last time I was at the Goodwill. This is another serving bowl. This one is by Crate and Barrel. I think it's older Crate and Barrel based on the logo on the back. There were two of these, but again, I didn't want to get anything too matchy. So I only picked up the one. If I remember correctly, it was 266 or 366, something like that. Now on that same wavelength of serving, I found this cake plate also at the Goodwill. This one I think was probably, again, like 566. Um, and when I initially saw it, because all the cake plates that I have known, you know, through my childhood growing up, the cake plates my mom had were all a glass bottom with a glass dome. So when I saw this, I loved the silver top with the little with the little handle here. Loved it. I was like, oh, that's so cool. But I wonder if those pieces actually go together. So I called Harry <laughs> because Harry is my thrifting vintage godfather. Um, Harry, if you're watching this, hello. Um, <laughs> if you guys aren't following Harry, you should or over on Instagram. We keep telling him to make YouTube videos. Maybe eventually he'll listen. But I found this and I called, I FaceTimed Harry and I was like, do you think this goes together? And he was like, absolutely. I had one of those as a child. That might be my grandmother's cake plate. Um, and we used it over the holidays. It's in perfect condition. I don't know if it's actually old, but I just really like it. I like that um, in my home that doesn't feel particularly old, right? Uh, of this style, like this uh, in the serving where this kind of like grand millennial kind of style, um, stuff isn't really the vibe of my home, but I just love the fact that it is kind of the vibe in my serving wear. A more eclectic, I'm gonna keep saying it, a more eclectic vibe. Um, so yeah, I found this cake plate, served me well during the holidays. I'm really happy to have this one too. And now I've probably said about, <laughs> I love all of the things. When I find them, you find it and you're like, oh my God, I love this. But when I saw this little lamp, I was like, oh my goodness, I love this little lamp. So I found this the same day at the same Goodwill where I found the cake plate and I was just, it was so dusty and crusty looking, but I was like, oh my God, that lamp is so stinking cute. But it works perfectly. I got a new bulb for it. It lives usually behind me in this cubby right here. Um, but I took it down to show you guys because this is like one of my favorite thrift store finds. Brass animals, animal figurines. I have a thing. <laughs> I wouldn't even call myself a real animal lover, but for some reason, animal figurines, I love. Um, especially these old brass ones. This one obviously is old. I can tell by the look of it. This one says it was made in Korea. Um, I just think they're cute. Uh, in, my, in last week's video where I talk about my thrift wish list, I talked about anything onyx or stone. And I went through a phase where I really wanted some onyx, like an onyx vessel of some sort. And I was looking around all on Etsy and I found a couple things that I thought were really cool and really interesting, but just never wanted to pay the $25, you know, for it. Like not that $25 is a whole lot of money, but just it was like, eh, I don't know, you know. Eh. And then I walk into the Goodwill and I see this. And this is exactly like one of the things, not the necessarily the shape, but the um, piecemeal of the onyx with the color in between, the kind of colored grout holding the, holding the pieces together was like one of the things that I was looking for on Etsy. Um, and this was sitting there waiting for me for $3.33. And so I picked it up. Um, so the next thing I wanted to show you guys, I picked these up recently. Um, from a woman on Facebook Marketplace. She was moving, she was an interior designer, and she was having a sale. Why was I initially going to her? Actually, Sean, Sean 
sent me the listing on Facebook Marketplace. She just had like, you know, come get some stuff. One of those like, it's a dollar, but everything in the apartment is basically for sale. So I went to check it out um, and she had, I mean, people were leaving when I was arriving. She had a ton of stuff. The stuff that she wasn't selling was way more interesting than the stuff she was, but I understand that. But she was an avid, you know, thrift store, vintage purchaser as well. And one of the things I picked up from her were these glass Murano, Murano glass flowers. And now she had broken several of the stems to get them to fit in the vases she wanted them to fit in. Um, but she gave them to me, and I think I have two more. She gave all of them to me for five bucks. So I said, okay, well, I'll take them and I'll figure, I'll figure it out. Or I will also donate them, you know, to a Goodwill or a Salvation Army or whatever. But I have a couple of them around the apartment in different places just because they add a nice little pop of color. And last but not least, at least in this video, because I've been talking for a long time, <laughs> but I found this vase recently at the Goodwill and I love this vase. Um, I love the pattern. It's obviously handmade. It's signed on the bottom by the person who made it. Um, and it's just, it has such a mid-century vibe to it. Who knows what year it was when they actually made it. I just think that it's very cool. I think I said earlier when we were actually in the Goodwill that people hand make pottery all the time and then they get sick of it. They pass away. It goes to the Goodwill and then it becomes a really unique thing that you can find and keep in your home. This is maybe one of three or two or three that I found previously just of someone made a thing I thought it was cool and brought it home and put it in my house so this was five six five sixty six I do remember because this was a recent pickup on that one and I just I love this vase I think it's so cool all right, so that's all that I got at this trip at the Goodwill and a haul of some things that I had picked up in weeks and months previous. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There will be more thrifting videos, thrift with me's because I like, I like thrifting. <laughs> Um, follow me over on Instagram. I'm sharing when I go to thrift stores a lot more often over there. And most of the stuff from this bigger haul part I had shown on Instagram already. So be sure to follow me over there. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Uh, turn on, not the like. The like button, yes. Turn on the bell notification. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.